Well, oh. in addition to uh, developing new form of psychotherapy in which only the therapist does the talking, not many people know that Dr. Donnelly's expertise extends well beyond uh, simple adjustments to the psyche to include the entire body. So here now to share with us her expertise in physical fitness is the legendary Gloria Ferraro Donnelly. are the weapons of mass destruction. <laughs> I have been pursuing physical perfection <laughs> since I identified my role models back when I was 10. And it's been a hard road, <laughs> but I'm getting there. Let me just review, you, you must, and I learned this from my husband, you must have the right equipment. <laughs> and the right attire. <laughs> Under Armour is the, the symbol, right? Yes. Under Armour, Nike, <laughs> Nike, <laughs> Drexel. And in order to put my sneakers on <laughs> that do not have laces, Shudini, <laughs> which is actually one of the greatest things ever invented. <laughs> Just a few uh, tips. And I have been pursuing physical perfection for at least uh, 40 years now. Um, this weight belt here, of course this is the water belt, you must have water. That's for marathon running, which I never do, but I love the belt. You know, it's lavender, it's part of my collection. And I have a purse, see, here. Hand antiseptic <laughs> for when you use machines or think about using machines. <laughs> and I also have the uh, phone number in here of my funeral director <laughs> in case they find me on the road. <laughs> so the, the equipment is extremely important. The backpack is Nike, which I bring to my gym every week when I meet with my trainer, which I have. Uh, ankle weights, very important. <laughs> My God, I can't get them off. <clears throat> but I will get them off. Now, I couldn't bend like that a year ago. <laughs> but I can now. I could not. And these ankle weights are particularly interesting. See, my husband thinks he has interesting stuff in his collection. But these ankle weights have little tiny weights in them. And you can change the weights. These are very high end. So ankle weights, very important when you walk. Um, and of course, this belt, which I will take off now, is covering a weighted belt. This is about 10 pounds. And the purpose of this belt is you, you wear it to your gym or your exercise center, 
And if you really don't feel like exercising, you walk in with it, you jump in the air once, you faint, <laughs> then you don't have to exercise. <laughs> Comes in very handy when you're tired. So let me tell you about my first experience with uh, physical fitness. My husband had been transferred to New York. I was home with my two prepubescent children. <laughs> and I said, let's have fun when daddy's away and we will join an exercise center. And they went, uh, but we did. And we uh, arrived the first night, we had an appointment, and this woman came out, she was six feet tall, she had a perfect body, she was in a leotard, she had Farrah Fawcett hair, and she looked at the three of us who were built kind of low to the ground. <laughs> and she said to me, what is your goal? <laughs> and, and it was said sort of halfway between disdain and disgust. <laughs> a sort of Dane gust or something. And, and you know what academics do when, when they're treated that way. They, they conceptually retaliate. I said, well. I said, my goal is to be four inches taller in three months. <laughs> do you have a machine that will do that? You know, stretch me. Something like a rack from the Middle Ages. And she said, Middle Ages, rack? And I looked at her <laughs> with disdain. Because obviously she had never heard of the Middle Ages. So we, we went to this place at least two or three times a week. We'd have dinner. My husband was in New York. We would talk to him on the phone. We'd get in the car. We would go and exercise. And when it was all over, the kids would go in the pool. There was a lap pool. And I would sit in the jacuzzi. And one night, actually, this was the last night we attended. <laughs> I was sitting in the jacuzzi with an elderly gentleman who I noticed wasn't moving. <laughs> and I thought, well, you know, he's relaxing. He's relaxing. And you know, when you're in a hot tub with one other person, and it's usually a person of the opposite gender, you don't make eye contact. <laughs> so, uh, I was there, and, and all of a sudden, I heard sirens. And I looked at the end of the, the room where there was a huge picture window, and I saw an emergency vehicle out there. And I heard running in the gym next door, and a door swung open, and I realized that I might be sitting in the jacuzzi with a dead body. <laughs> So I immediately jumped up, and this tidal wave went over the man, and I screamed for my two daughters. I said, we're getting out of here. We went in the gym, we got dressed, we never even looked to see. And people say to me, but you're a nurse. I said, I'm not that kind of nurse. <laughs> CPR, I am not going to do CPR in a jacuzzi. Forget it. I, I, had, I had flashbacks of my Esther Williams dog. Just couldn't do it. So that was the last night we went to the gym. Now I, fast forward, fast forward, you know, uh, 40 years, 30 years. Um, my internist said to me, you know, Gloria, you really need a personal trainer. I think it would be great for you. 
I have patients that have done this. It has done wonders for them. That was 15 months ago. I have been seeing a personal trainer. And the first night I went, I guess they learned this in personal training school as a script. She said, what is your goal? <laughs> and I said, not to die in the gym. <laughs> because I, I have learned over the years to set my physical perfection goals low. And then I will never be disappointed. She said to me, uh, I, I guess I had been going three months, and I, I learned, uh, I'm learning all kinds of things with, with these uh, weapons of mass destruction. I'm learning um, how to roll myself around this ball and stretch my abs. Uh, I'm learning, this is the bean. You see, I learned from my husband that you must collect. <laughs> and this is just a very small part of my collection of exercise equipment. This is the bean that you rock on and you use for your abs. It also makes a wonderful ottoman uh, in the TV room. Uh, this is, of course, an ab rocker that I saw in uh, Washington, D.C. in a gym. And I bought it because it was white. <laughs> because I, it matched my treadmill. <laughs> and this is, this weapon of torture is a BOSU ball. And it's for, it, it needs to be inflated, but it's for balance. And I needed to work on my balance because in January 08, I was merely walking through the Orlando airport, merely walking, and I fell and broke my shoulder. And I was, as I was lying on the, on the mat, and of course you, you do funny things when you have an accident like that. My husband was with me, the emergency uh, personnel had gathered around, and um, I'm lying flat on my back, and I looked up, and there's an atrium in the Orlando airport. And I had been there at least 50 times, and I had never seen it, because you just walk straight ahead to baggage. And I said to the security guard, oh my, what a beautiful day. I didn't know you had an atrium in the Orlando airport. And he said, lady, did you hit your head? And I said, no, I'm just noticing. So they put me, they strapped me to a surfboard. And I know it was a surfboard. It wasn't, uh, it, it was not a piece of medical equipment. It was definitely a surfboard because it had a palm tree on it. And they strapped me in very tight, put me in the ambulance. And I, I was strapped at the knees, strapped here, and strapped up here, and I could hardly breathe, not from the pain in the shoulder. And I said to the uh, EMS technician, could you loosen the, sh he said, we're not allowed. He said, but I can give you morphine. <laughs> you want morphine? I said, no, I don't want morphine. I just want to breathe. <laughs> I could give you a quarter of a whatever of morphine, and you'll breathe, you won't, you know, you'll feel better. And I said, I don't want morphine. And we went back and forth, and finally I agreed to a very tiny dose of morphine in order for him to loosen the straps. <laughs> so I got into physical therapy, which then of course led me to my quest for physical perfection. And I've been doing many, many things with it. This is a neon jump rope <laughs> for jumping in the middle of the night. <laughs> you just get up, you go out on the front lawn, and you jump around 3 in the morning. And then my husband knows where I am because he could see the neon jump rope. <laughs> 
this, of, these are my weights. I'm supposed to use 10 pound weights, but I thought these were attractive. <laughs> They're one pound weights. And you know, they work. The 10 pound weights did not come in pink. <laughs> then we have, and this actually is one of my favorite pieces of equipment. And I desperately wanted this. This is the chin slimmer. <laughs> now, it's my, my daughter gave me this for Christmas. You see, you see how the tradition moves? You know, the tools I gave my husband. My children now are giving me. And you do this five minutes a day. That hasn't worked for me yet, but I'm going to keep at it. But I have discovered another use for this. And that's in faculty meetings. When you're going to call a very controversial vote, you hand these out first. You say, everyone, 30 seconds, call the question. All in favor, it's done. It's done. I see the president of the Senate here. I know he's going to use this. He's going to buy one for all the senators. Of course, you must subscribe to Oxygen, which is, uh, tells you how to get sexy glutes. <laughs> And uh, if you drink this particular drink, it will blast all of the fat out of your body. Um, and then, uh, are you getting enough protein and instant ways to get home? I think if you really want a good laugh, you should subscribe to one of these journals. Uh, melt fat instantly was in one of the issues, and I picked it up and looked at uh, the article, and it was written by a potter who used to get in the kiln for six minutes <laughs> after she made her pots, and of course she was getting thin because she was near killing herself in the kiln. I also went shopping at Lululemon. Now, Lululemon is a very, very upscale uh, exercise attire store for women. There's one on Walnut Street. And uh, I went in, and all of the things were so tiny. <laughs> you know, little tiny spandex and little tiny uh, shirts and little tiny exercise jackets for warming after you maybe move two muscles or whatever. And I said to the young woman, do you have anything for a woman my size? And she said, oh, you'll have to go to Lulu Grapefruit. <laughs> it's right up the street. So I went to Lulu Grapefruit. I really have, I believe I have made great progress in my quest for physical perfection. Uh, m m my blood pressure is great. Uh, I now do not have to crawl to a machine in the gym to help me stand up. <laughs> I can actually stand up. And I think my biggest achievement is um, the fact that my trainer, uh, who's a lovely little yoga type lady, and Pilates, you know, she recommended this. This, this is a uh, Pilates band. It's a little bit like Brazilian butt lift, <laughs> which you'll see on Saturday mornings. Bra Brazilian butt lift is a yellow rubber band <laughs> that's about this wide and costs $80. <laughs> uh, this is a Pilates band that you can do all kinds of things with. It's also a slingshot. <laughs> and when the courier is late from main campus, we just shoot it over with our Pilates band. Finally, my trainer said to me, um, 
two weeks ago. She said, you know, Dr. Donnelly, I train about 12 women, and some of them are a little younger than you, and some of them are a little older, and you are my strongest, fittest client. And she had to pick me up off the floor because I was <laughs> laughing so much. And I said, I would like to see these 12 women <laughs> who are worse off than I am. So she promised she would take pictures. <laughs> this finally is the PS de resistance. I don't know if any of you have ever seen it on TV. This is the Ab Circle Pro. Remember, many of these instruments of torture up here are about abs, because we are, as a nation, abscessed. <laughs> we are. The bean is about abs, the balls are about abs, the BOSU can be about abs if you drape yourself over it. This is the ab rocker, and this, is the Ab Circle Pro. <laughs> Pretty good, huh? <laughs> this is the pride of my collection. <laughs> And so I, I have been just thrilled tonight to share my journey with you, my journey to psychic health and my journey to physical health and quest for physical perfection. So thank you for coming. Thank you for supporting the college.